Welcome to this relatively short quick tip video on integrating Google Meet into Clever in Jackson Public Schools. For those of you who are elementary school teachers, there is a great module in the Google Classroom for teachers in Canvas that goes all the way through all of the steps that you can use to integrate Google Meet into your Google Classroom. You are welcome to use Clever. Either application is fine. If you're a secondary teacher and you're not using Google Classroom, you can also integrate Google Meet into Canvas, or you can just use it as part of the Google Suite. Today, we're gonna to show you how to integrate it into Clever. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a meeting, because we have to have a Google Meet in order to put it in Clever. So I have navigated to my Google Calendar. If you don't know how to find your Google Calendar, if you click the application launcher, in the upper right hand corner of your calendar or your Google Meet or whatever G Suite application you're in, you can scroll down until you can find your calendar. When you click on your calendar, it will open up for you. But in this instance, I've got my calendar open and I'm going to click Create. And I'm going to create a recurring meeting that's going to be called Morning Check-In. And I'm going to say that this, this particular meeting is going to start tomorrow and I'm going to start it in the morning at 9 a.m. and I'm going to let it run for one hour but I want to repeat it so I'm going to say that I want to repeat it every Monday through Friday I need to add Google Meet as my video conferencing option and then I'm going to click Save. Now you'll see that on my calendar, I have a Google meeting every day this week from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock called Morning Check-In. It will repeat every week until the end of time. If I want to change the date on my Google Meet, I can simply open the event, click the pencil to edit, and if I want to change the date and make it stop, maybe at the semester or the nine weeks, I can simply click the recurring schedule every weekday, click custom, and then I can say it repeats, but it ends on December 18th. Now my calendar meet will be every Monday through Friday from now until December and it will stop. So now I'm going to click Save. I want to add that time change to all my events and click OK. Now I'm back at my calendar and I can see my event. If I click my event, I can see that I have a join link. I can click Join with Google Meet to start the meeting from my calendar or I can get the link. To the right of the Google Meet block, there is a Copy Conference Link button. I'm going to click that button and copy the address. Now I'm going to go back to Clever. Here is a teacher's page in Clever. This is my homeroom page. I can flip through the various elements of Clever simply through clicking through the menus. But we're going to start with our homeroom page because we want to add a new page. Down at the bottom, I'm going to click the Add button and I'm going to create a page. I'm going to edit the name of my page and I'm going to call it the Daily Check-In Page. I can give it a description. And I can share any students that I want with this course. I'm going to select just one of my classes because this is just the daily check-in call for my second block. So I'm going to click Save 
and it's going to automatically roster all of the students in my class. Now that I've created my page, I want to add a link. And I'm going to paste in the Google Meet URL. I'm going to give it a name. I can use a category that's already here, or I can create a new one. I'm going to select an icon and click Add Link. Now, I have created a new page on my homeroom page called Daily Check-in Page. All of my students, whenever they log in, they will be able to see that page. This is an example of what the student would see. In this case, here's my daily schedule page. And as a student, I open my page. There's my link for my daily check-in call. I simply click it and open my Google Meet. This is a quick tip video on using Google Meet in Canvas. What you're seeing on your screen now is a Canvas page, but the skill that I'm teaching today can be used on a page or in an announcement or discussion, basically in several different places. So I've given my page a title, and now I'm going to add a little text because I'm going to add my check-in meeting each day for my students inside of Canvas. Now I'm going to put a little text, and now I'm going to use my tools. This toolbar here is part of the rich content editor that's a part of Canvas. If you don't see the end of the toolbar, Simply click the three dots and it will show you all of the tools that you need. I need to click on the Apps button. Now what you're seeing in the Apps button are all of the apps that are connected through Canvas. The district connects them so that all teachers have access to using the integration. I'm going to search for Google and now I see Google Hangouts Meet. I'm going to click the button, double click if it doesn't open. It's going to connect my jpsms.org account and it's going to create a conference link for me. I'm going to save my page. Now Whenever my students come to the first page of my course, they're going to see the link for Google Meet. You can also add an announcement. Good morning. Check in. I'm going to click my apps button, search for my Google Meet, connect my account, click save. If I want to reuse this announcement and this same link for my other courses, I can simply find the course and copy the announcement. When I get ready to use my link, I'm logged in to my Google account. I simply click Join the Google Meet. It will launch the program and I can start my meeting. In this example, I'm using the blueprint as part of my course 
to add my Google Meet directly to my syllabus. I've opened up my syllabus. I'm adding a link to my course virtual con conference expectations. I'm going to write join daily. I'm going to click my three dots, find my apps button, find Google Meet, double click, You may not have to associate each time, or you may not. And now I can update my syllabus. And now every day my students can simply click the link and join the meet. And now I can update my syllabus. And now, every day, my students can simply click the link and join the Meet. Now that we've talked about using Clever and Canvas in Google Meet, now we're just going to talk about regular plain old Google Meet and all of the functions and features that are available to you. I have Google Meet open here on my screen. And if you can't find Google Meet, you can either type meet.google.com in the URL or you can click your application launcher and look for the meet icon. Remember if you don't see it you may have to scroll down until you find the link. In this instance I'm already on Google Meet so I'm going to join a meeting and I'm going to give my meeting a name. And I'm going to call it tutoring because maybe I have a tutoring group for factoring. And I want to invite students to my factoring tutorial. I'm going to click continue. It's going to start up my camera and my microphone. And I'm going to click join now. Once I start that, I'm going to get the meeting information. At this point, I can copy the information and I can paste it into uh, an email if I'm talking, if I have middle school or high school students. I can put it as an announcement in a Canvas course or in a Google Classroom, or I can just paste it onto the screen so that somebody and save it for later that I can use when I want to join my tutoring class. But I'm going to go ahead and just add people. I'm going to add some other people into the meeting so that we'll have an, a, ch a chance to see what it looks like when others join. And I'm going to send each of those people an email. At the bottom of my screen, I start to see my options for in my meetings. I can click on the bottom of the name of my meeting. There's my joining information again that I can copy and share again if I need to. I can have attachments as part of my meeting. I can mute my microphone or turn my video on or off. I can also turn on captioning and Google Meet will transcribe everything that I say as part of my meeting. If I want to share my screen, I have options. I can even share just one of my tabs. So for example, I wanted to share this video I can simply click the tab and it will share with the group. At the top of my screen, it's telling me that I'm sharing my tab and then I can stop at any time. I will need to go back to my meeting in order to see and control the meet. I have other options. I can record my meeting. If you are going to record a meeting, 
please make sure that everybody knows that their meeting is being recorded. I simply click the button. It's going to remind me that I need to ask and tell everybody that I'm recording the meeting and that everybody has given permission. If I want to stop the meeting, I simply click stop. Google Meet is going to automatically record the meeting, send me an email when it's rendered, and store it in my Google Drive. I can change the layout of my Google Meet. I can turn on the captionings. I also can change my audio and video settings or get help. At the top of my screen, I have a chat window. Right now, I'm the only one in the meeting. I've also got a grid option. This grid option is not a standard Google Meet, and it, but it's an extension that we've applied to the entire district so that everyone has the option of the Hollywood Squares. Now, I've invited myself to the meeting several more times just to give you a view of what it looks like to have people in the meeting. The first thing you'll notice at the top is I have three participants. If I click on the heads, I can show everybody in my group. I can have a chat with them, and I can control certain aspects of what they're doing. So for example, I can pin them, I can mute their microphone, or I can remove them from the meeting. If I mute them, I cannot unmute them. They have to mute them, unmute themselves. I also can add them to the grid. I can show only those with video and eliminate the circles with the letters. I can have it to where every time there's a speaker, they're highlighted. I can turn on my grid by default or put myself in the grid. If I choose, I can kick someone out of a meeting. I'm going to remove myself. Now, when I do, I've removed her from the meeting and I cannot get back in the meeting without requesting permission. When my meeting is over, Good practice for Google Meet is to make sure that all of the students and all of your participants have left the meeting. Make sure there are no other people left in the meeting before you, you end the meeting. By default, students in JPS cannot initiate or start a Google Meeting. Only the teachers can do that. So please be make sure they can't rejoin it once they've left. So either kick them all out before you close the meeting Click their picture, click the icon, kick them out, or wait until everybody hangs up and then you can end your meeting. Simply click the phone and you can leave the call. Lastly, there's really not a whiteboard that's embedded in Google Meet. However, there are a couple of simple options provided by Google. One is called Canva, the Canvas app for Chrome. The URL is canvas.apps.chrome and you can simply create a new drawing, add your elements, and you have a whiteboard. All you need to do as part of your meeting is share your screen. Jamboard is also available. The URL for that is jamboard.google.com. It works just like the whiteboard for Canvas, except for you get a few different options that aren't necessarily available in the Canvas Chrome app. You can add multiple slides so students can contribute or you can save it and use it in another section. And 
you can write on it just like you can the whiteboard. The difference with Cam this one in Canvas app is you can share it. You can share it with students in Google or you can send a link and make it public. There is a great video that's also posted on the virtual learning website that talks all about using these two particular apps as well as a video series from a great guy who's got a great set of Google Meet videos for teachers that should be very helpful. But hopefully this quick tip will get you started.